forced inoculation door to door. And, and I'm so angry about this that I'm not going to get angry. And I'm going to I'm not going to get angry because I don't I don't have the energy or the voice for it. And I'm going to come back and break this down. Stay with me. OK, I want to calmly go through the facts. Even if you are for inoculation and you think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, let's all be honest with ourselves that the government and the mainstream media lie at the start of the school year each year on radio, TV, and print and say, it's the law, you must take this growing list of vaccines. And it's not true. And Rick Perry came out four years ago and said, it's the law, you must take this shot. And when he got caught lying, the legislature came out and said, there's no law. And so Perry tried to get a law passed and failed. Now, California has passed the law, but it's not signed yet. It's passed the House and Senate. It's on Governor Brown's desk, making it the law that they will shoot your children up at school without telling you. And we confirmed it back during the swine flu, H1N1 hoax two years ago. And we played newscast. We're in Alabama and other areas. They shot kids up whose parents had said, don't shoot them up. And then people said, well, the, well, the seven-year-old wanted it. Well, a, a minor, you can't say here, minor, you want some drugs, you want some Jack Daniels. You can't because a you know, minor you know, wants to uh, you know, uh, go in a topless bar, take one in because they're a minor. It's illegal. And so basically, they try to intimidate parents and tell them it's the law to take shots. What we've confirmed is in California and other areas, they're telling kids that it's already the law and shooting them up in the nurse's office. And we're getting contacted by families in Canada and other areas that their daughters are, are shot up at school and then get sick. We've already had a lot of deaths from Gardasil and illnesses. So what's going to happen all over the country as they shoot the kids up at school after showing them a film and then ordering them to, basically? Again, it's all about intimidation. It's all about twisting of arms. What's going to happen? Now, remember, there are more than 50 vaccines that by the age of two, government is trying to claim are the law you got to take when it's not a law. Think about how criminal that is, how creepy that is that they're lying to you. It's like somebody coming to your door and saying, it's the law, you've got to buy a magazine subscription from me. Or it's the law, you've got to answer my questions. Or it's the law. Well, that's what the census is doing now. Now they have yearly census. And they come to your house and say, oh, it's not every 10 years now, it's yearly. You've got to answer all these questions. There's no law, you have a Fifth Amendment. They're just doing it. So it's all color of law power grab. Now. That leads me to this next report. And of course, it's out of California. News 10. Natomas, California. It says school officials, everybody's an official, not servants, are going door to door with a traveling nurse to give whooping cough shots to unvaccinated students. Now wait, if you're above the age of three, whooping cough is no big deal. And of course, most of the formulas are more than half corn syrup and they've have studies out that it's an autoimmune issue. The kids are run down. If a baby's healthy and getting regular mother's milk, it's very rare that they don't deal with whooping cough very easily. But they fear monger and, and, and push these shots. And I've seen statistics in California, especially in the highly educated places, where upwards of 70% are unvaccinated. And so they're saying there's going to be a whooping cough uh, epidemic. I've heard Dr. Dean Adele go on air and say, the people should be arrested that aren't taking shots because then they're going to get all of us sick. Well, wait a minute. If you've had all the vaccines, then you're safe and we're idiots. It's all about freedom, you see. But once they socialize health care, they can claim, well, I'm going to have to pay for you. The truth is, and we've covered the studies here, people that are unvaccinated are much healthier per capita than those that are vaccinated. And it's not that I don't, don't even think that there isn't some truth to inoculation science. It's that you can't trust these drug companies who've been caught over and over again adding cancer viruses, adding sterilants. We've covered the news, but just type in cancer viruses and vaccines. You'll get new scientists, AP. Try UN caught sterilizing women with vaccines. You'll get mainstream news. 
UN caught giving children live polio shots, deaths. Every year it happens. It's not an accident. A government that's done all this atomic, chemical, biological testing on our own troops, killing them in many cases, cannot be trusted with these big vaccine companies to mandate this. So there's a hoax. It's not the law. Now, when we come back, I'm going to play part of this newscast. The whole thing's up at InfoWars.com. Door-to-door vaccinations. Training the public for forced inoculations. Wait until you hear and see this video. If you're a radio listener, just go to InfoWars.com and go to the Featured News Archive. It's already scrolled off the front page. Door-to-door -door vaccinations. Training the public for forced inoculations. But you'll hear the audio, and if you're a PrisonPlanet.tv viewer, see this article is very, very important. I'm going to do a special report on it tonight on television and InfoWars Nightly News, 7 o'clock Central. That's 8 p.m. Eastern. But uh, here's my comment uh, at InfoWars.com. Door-to-door vaccinations training the public for forced inoculations. This outrageous video shows the intimidation tactics of the system being ramped up to once again trick parents into vaccine compliance with the hoax that vaccinations are required. And in fact, Rob Dew was in here asking me about this right before the show. I, I need to start getting him to dig it out. What, it was like five years ago? It was five years ago that I had the state attorney on from Maryland, and it was a big national story. Children forcibly inoculated in Maryland was the headline. And they had all these people on national TV, Good Morning America, you name it, saying it's wrong these children have to take these shots. And it showed the families crying. More than 2,000 children and their parents being herded into a parking lot and into a uh, state courthouse to be given the shots. They're in Baltimore. And even the people fighting it, all over CNN, Good Morning America, you name it. And I, and I would get some of these activist groups on and say, what's wrong with you? They would say, it's wrong that it's the law. They have to take this. It's wrong. These vaccines are dangerous. And that's why the mainstream media was happy to have them on, because it played into the hoax. It was not the stinking law. And I had listeners that were there on the ground when it happened that shot video. We interviewed them live on the air. And it was police dog SWAT teams because of radicals that were against what was happening and kids crying being lined up and being given shots and i had the state attorney on i've got to dig that interview out about five years ago and i said sir you know it's not the law in maryland i read to him the code and he laughed and he said you're right alex i forget his name he was like a tall handsome ball-headed black guy and he said and state attorney he said uh he said you're right alex i don't vaccinate my kids and started laughing at me. And I said, you know, it's not funny that you know the law and got up there and played along and didn't tell people it wasn't the law. And I said, I know what you're doing. You're threatening to kick them out of school because it's a policy, just like zero tolerance is, to say you've got to have the shots but not a law. Then you trigger a truancy law and you put a few people in jail. And he goes, Alex, you're real smart. You ought to be a lawyer. Oh, well, see, it's all real funny that that guy doesn't shoot his kids up. But he gets up there on CNN and says, you, it, you, you've got to get the shots or you're going to go to jail. You see, that's this weird mind game with these people. That It's like they're winners because they can lie to people and watch people go off the edge of a cliff. I've had enough of it. I mean, that's like saying, well, I could lead a two-year-old out into traffic and watch him walk out in front of a truck. Boy, I'm a big man. It makes my head really, really spin to watch all of this happen. So continuing... This outrageous video shows the intimidation tactics of the system being ramped up to once again trick parents into vaccine compliance with the hoax that vaccinations are required when there is and there has never, when there is and has been a waiver as well as a natural right allowing parents to opt out. Now by going door to door, the system is tiptoeing, how about stampeding, towards coercive vaccinations while the media lapdog readily portrays these parents as negligent 
and the students, students as truant when the student in the video was evidently enrolled in some sort of independent study. Uh, yeah, they call it that now for homeschooling. Will CPS next travel in tandem with the school officer and the traveling doctor? That's already happening. Alex Jones will cover this and other aspects of the deceptive and harmful story in a special report tomorrow. Tune in to the InfoWars Nightly News for more. And then here's the article. We'll play the video in a moment. Natomas school officials, not servants, are going door to door with a traveling nurse to give whooping cough shots to unvaccinated students. A new state law requires students entering 7th through 12th grades to get vaccinated against the diseases by the start of the 2012-2011 school year. Uh, notice they don't give the law. That's not true either. I've checked. They've got a new law to ask the kids if they want to do it without parental consent and then basically intimidate them into it. Because there's a lot of parents that say it's the law. You're not going to do it with the kids. I mean, you know they're doing it with them. The legislature gave districts 30 days beyond the start of the school year to make sure all students were vaccinated or had a formal exemption filed by their parents or guardians. But see, they don't say at the door that there's an exemption. And there's no law you've got to do the exemption. As the deadline passes, thousands of students remain unvaccinated. Many school districts have been defying state law and allowing them on campus. Because it's not state law, liars. Okay, let's go ahead and go to this incredible newscast. Now, now again, they have already passed the law. It's on the governor's desk to, quote, let children in the single digits, age-wise, decide if they want a shot. A child can't decide if they want to go to the planetarium. You've got to sign the waiver. They can't decide if they want to go uh, to the Wild West days. You've got to sign a waiver or to the zoo or to the history museum. But in many states... They take children as young as 10 to have abortions without mommy and daddy knowing. This is medical tyranny because the state intimidates them and tells them to do it. And now it's going to be shots. The, uh, remember the, the two years ago, the California court ruled that the government is the guardian and parents aren't guardians of their children, period, and that homeschooling was illegal. Now it got overturned by a higher federal court at a federal level. But just like it's being overturned everywhere when you go to jail or get charged with life in prison for videotaping cops in public, the point is they're trying to put you in jail for life for videotaping in public when they know full well it's not illegal and the statute doesn't say that. The point is they're trying to take, in fact, I see it with poor, ignorant families. They call it neglect. The judge rules it's neglect. And they take children every day. They take millions of children a year. So it, they're taking children every day because they're not vaccinated. There is no law, but they do it. And, and they get the parents in all scared. And the judge says, all right, if you sign all these forms and admit to guilt and negligence and, and basically sign private corporate probation with me and we'll let the children go into foster care for a month and you might get them back. Or they might even say, we'll give them back to you, but then we're going to have to watch and then now you're in their system. Now you're going to their psychiatrist, hired by them. Now they're in your house. Now they find something else. Boom, the kids are gone forever. Terminate parental rights. In fact, I played it years ago. We ought to dig it out. A CBS newscaster locally with Judge Jean Meir that they named the juvenile justice system after. She looks just like Janet Napolitano. Same, you know, same spirit. And it showed her in portable buildings in schools all over Austin every day. She's at a new one. They call the parents in and they say, Billy has been late to class three times. That is a truancy. I'm going to put you in juvenile hall for a month unless your father agrees to sign this. Now, the father says, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, on the news and signs the form. The judge had no authority. The state truancy law at that time, I don't know what it is now, was 14 unexcused absences in a semester. The statute is 14. They were counting three times being late because the parents got them there late. They were counting three times late as a truancy and saying you're going to go to jail and then having the dad sign an agreement that in the next semester his child would not be late to class one time or the child goes to jail. 
It's all fraud. And that judge sits there like a hardcore criminal con artist. I'm on the radio here locally. Sue me, Mir. I know the law. I know you're a big, fat criminal. And I'll call you one because you are one. And truth is a total defense. You get people in there and trick them into signing paperwork, waiving their rights to pack the giant criminal justice systems you built, not to teach kids discipline, but to take young little fourth graders like that kid I saw on TV and send them to a juvenile hall where they get raped, where they get beat up, and where they learn how to be criminals. You know what happens? You know what happens to most kids when gangs start beating them up? They join the gang. These schools and these juvenile systems are factories for crime. Now, let's go to this wicked, fraudulent newscast. This wicked, 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 wicked hoax. Here it is. Up in the news, drastic measures to make sure every student is vaccinated in Natomas. School officials went door to door with a nurse offering the Tdap vaccine to meet a new state mandate. News 10's Natalie Sense tagged along and has our story. Hello, how are you, ma'am? My name's Heyman Matlock with the Thomas Unified School District. It's not easy going door to door making sure students are vaccinated. Your daughter is on independent study. Yes. Uh, Kayla, has she yes. been verified with her Tdap? No. Okay. We were coming today to give her a Tdap if she hasn't had it done yet. Get the off my house. Matlock dealing with a lot of sticky situations. Despite weeks of free clinics and warnings, some Natomas kids still have not received a shot for whooping cough. Uh, there could be some family dynamics um, where they're having hardships in the home, and this isn't the top priority in them making it day to day. Hello, this is Heyman Matlock with the Natomas Unified School District. He has a list of more than 40 left to get vaccinated, so with a traveling nurse on hand, district officials are now left to track down kids who may be falling through the cracks. There are a number of kids that we're finding out in our home visit today that are truant. They aren't in school, so this also gives us an opportunity to find out where those kids are that uh, have truancy issues. Right. Truant kids. And Stop right there. This is always the handbook scam. As I've told you for 16 years on air, because I've been involved in the cases, I've gone to the juvenile court hearings. I fought this. Uh, it's, it's something I had to pull out of because I can't physically go into these, to these courts anymore because watching the judges, the cops, to watch the fraud, the crying pr parents physically was giving me an ulcer. Watching children be abused is one thing I can't handle. And it really gets, I mean, you think I get in a rage on air, ladies and gentlemen. The time I opened that door at the hospital room and the cop was choking the woman trying to make her sign documents to hand over the baby they were going to sell for Three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars, little blonde haired blue eyed baby. I, I, I didn't do anything to the cop, and I went outside and collapsed, crying for about an hour. And, and, but I mean, my, I was just, I mean, watching a man attack a woman, I was just like, zzz, it was like. But I knew that I'd be set up, sent to prison, couldn't keep fighting him. So I just like, I was like Robbie the robot, cannot compute, cannot compute, cannot compute. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. You know, zzz, smoke coming out my ears. I mean, I just can't. I. I and these cops love it. The judges get off on the pain. It's like psychic vampires feeding hard, and I just can't look at it. I cannot enter a vampire pit. I can sit up here far away from them and attack them and, and talk about them, but I, I just I cannot get near them. And it's not because of a cowardice either. It's because I just I just I I want to pull a Samson on them with a with a jawbone. Now, again, we got to beat these people, just like they have DynCorp. Admittedly, being the number one CPS uh, group, they have private contractors. DynCor runs child kidnapping rings worldwide. Don't believe me? Just search DynCor white slavery, DynCor child trafficking. In fact, just just type it in for folks that are watching. They won't believe it. DynCor sex trade, uh, DynCor child tra trafficking. You'll see BBC, AP, you name it. Now, you notice he kept saying we're finding quite a few truancies as well. They mix that in there saying the parents are criminal. And so what happens is they have a kind of an in-between homeschooling in many states like California. The parents say, you're not going to vaccinate my daughter. And because of that, they'll say, all right, well, we're going to do at-home schooling. So they just do their school there and then turn it in once a week. Because the parents don't know there's a waiver, they've been intimidated into, well, then I will pull my child out of school, or I will start homeschooling.
So now they're coming to those houses saying, and, and, and you know, treating them like they're criminals. And then mixing... the, quote, crime of truancy in with the inoculation. That's how they claim it's the law. When it's the school saying, you can't be here, it's the law. When there's not a law, they kick you out, then trigger the cops. All consciously knowing it's a scam. In every school district, it's, it's, it's just a criminal culture of lying and hoaxing. Rick Perry did it. He said, it's the law, you got to take Gardasil. And we got up and said, no, it's not. And the legislature said, you know, there's not a law, Perry. He went, I mean, uh, executive order. Well, give me a law then. Let's, let's put that up, DynCorp child trafficking. And you notice Chicago Tribune was there on the list. You see Prison Planet. You see uh, Wikipedia. You see Chicago Tribune right there. U.S. stalls on human trafficking. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I remember that Chicago Tribune. That's where the U.S. government and Congress said they're allowed to run kids. There's Catherine Austin Fitz exposing DynCor CPS and trafficking. And then there's the DynCor exposed for trafficking in women and children. That's congressional testimony. You might want to watch that. Uh, there's a bunch of pediatric websites. Cop Watch has it. So you better learn this is a hardcore army of hardcore child kidnappers. Well, of course, who else would act like this? This is who they've recruited. And one of the few things I get big death threats over is DynCorp. They do not like me talking about this. Look, I'm sorry. If I am a coward and don't stand up to you, then the blood of these children is on my hands. You're flying out of the country. And I will not be part of it. You understand that? Justice will be served on you. The fires of hell are going to consume you. And you're not going to have to wait till you die to be in them. People are like, this guy's crazy. He's mad about our government openly feeding on our kids. No, it's you who have a spirit of weakness and who have capitulated to evil, and I will not be part of it, ever! And you bet I'm angry. I don't like having to get up here and risk my life, but it's all I can do. Filth. Go back to the filthy TV show with them filthily lying and saying it's a law to take shots. Go back to the liars! And negligent parents are put on notice. The Natomas district is going to extremes and putting up with extremes to keep kids from getting sick. Get the off my well, kids won't be allowed back to school Monday if they haven't been vaccinated. The district will continue door-to-door -door visits until everyone is vaccinated. Till everybody's conned. Till everybody's scammed. Oh, God. God. I get mad and in a rage because of the abuse people are going through. But also... Because I'm sick of it. It's so obvious. It's so criminal. Just like I last night I covered it. It's now come out and confirmed everything we said. Government admits it. They were directly shipping the guns to the Mexican cartel, Sinaloa, who they then let ship the drugs in. That was even on Fox and News last night. I mean, the government is drug dealing murderers. We have, I mean, think of the magnitude that I say DynCorp child trafficking. And I can give you congressional videos, Chicago Tribune, Associated Press, BBC, London Telegraph, New York Daily News. I mean, I can pull up right now New York Daily News from five years ago. This is without looking. If I go look, I'll find more. I, whatever I can imagine, it's there. Anything you can imagine the globalists doing it, they're doing it. Where they take little kids especially in New York, and they, it's always the same. They tell the mother, we're going to take the two-year-old if you don't give us the seven-year-old. And they actually take them and chain them down and test pesticides and drugs on them until they die. And then CPS workers went, we're delivering kids to, to a big pharma facility and they're dying. I've been there. They're begging for their lives, chained down. Healthy kids, they're killing them. And the government came out and said, we're going to keep killing them. Just like Rumsfeld uh, Cynthia McKinney's up there bringing it up. Hey, DynCorp runs kids. And he just says, well, they're, you know, they're allowed to. And then I saw Bill O'Reilly last week. I saw a clip online. He said, the U.S. never bombed any country in the Middle East before 9-11. Then I saw a clip of him last night uh, online. Uh, where, it might have been from the night before, but I saw it last night. Uh, where O'Reilly was saying that, uh, how dare Cynthia McKinney say that Kennedy was killed in a military coup? How dare this traitor to America say
say this overseas. I mean, how dare she think what 92% of Americans think in most polls? You see, it, it, it's not seen as polite to talk about these issues. You're just supposed to, well, the government's good. Oh, the government's red, white, and blue. No, the government is a collection of criminals that have come in and taken over our country and wrapped their tyranny in the American flag. And I've had enough of it. And I want it to stop. And our naivete has allowed this to get worse and worse and worse to the point of now they're coming to doors in California, Mississippi, West Virginia, other states saying it's the law to take shots when it's not. And I've had enough of it, ladies and gentlemen. I've had enough of these criminals. All you got to do is expose them and it's over.